Hello everyone and man, welcome back to Tech Block. Today we're doing a Q&A. I asked you guys to ask me questions over on Instagram. If you want to follow me on Instagram, by the way, there's my handle. It's also in the link in the description down below. So if you want to go follow me on there, check out my stories, check out the behind the scenes of what goes on in my life. My Instagram handle is TechBlockM, so follow me on there if you want to get featured in future Q&As, I guess. Um, I might be doing them on Twitter as well, and like other social media, maybe even on YouTube. I don't really know yet, but for now, it's kind of on Instagram. So the first question here comes from Agamif20. Hi, Em, what is the future upgrade path for your setup slash PC? Love your video keep it up well uh, mainly upgrading these two monitors from 24 inch ones to 27 inch ones that are also curved and preferably above 60 Hertz uh, I found MSI ones that I think are around maybe 300 or 250 pound each so definitely got my eye on those however if I do get accepted for the apartment I applied for uh, there's a good chance that I won't be buying those monitors for quite a while as all my money is gonna be going towards that apartment but uh, that's kind of the main thing that I want to replace and set up apart from that though uh, maybe just buy more nano leaf panels apart from that though uh, I don't know we'll see what the future holds but uh, in the new apartment if we do get it the whole setup is gonna get like a freaking makeover like I'm finally gonna have like a dedicated like full room as an office for my main setup like you know secondary setups like all these different sets and stuff for YouTube like it's gonna be freaking awesome man as for the upgrade path for the PC though XPG recently hooked me up with some beautiful NVMe storage very very fast two freaking terabytes of that stuff by the way like, I ain't gonna run out of NVMe storage for a while now. Uh, so maybe like waiting for Ryzen 3000 series, that's something I'm really looking forward to. And I might be doing an Intel build uh, in the very near future as well. So that'll be quite interesting. So that's kind of the plan for the setup and the PC, I guess. Uh, next question, Tyler Absolute Unit. <laughs> sub goal for the end of the year. Oh man. Last year, my sub goal was, I think 40,000 subs. And I think we just barely made it to 40,000 subs. <laughs> Um, oh, this year? I mean, ideally 100k subs, that's, that's what I'm aiming for, but I'm pretty sure we're going to hit that in the next couple of months. So maybe by the end of the year, let's say 150,000 or 200,000 subs. I don't know what's going to happen on YouTube, maybe we'll stay at 65,000 subs for a while. But if I'm being optimistic, probably around 200,000 subs or 150,000 subs by the end of the year, that'll be crazy. <laughs> Will you make an apartment tour? Asks Ross Dyer. Dyer? I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing all, all these names. Will you make an apartment tour? Hell yeah. The moment I get that place, you'll like get an apartment tour and then probably a few months down the line, once I buy some more furniture and decorations and stuff for the apartment, you'll get another apartment tour. By the way, we're gonna be decking it out with Philips Hue. I caught this on camera. No! Why do you blue screen? What is wrong with you? Oh god damn it. Whilst recording my Q&A. The PC blue screens. Back to the Q&A though. Uh, as for the whole apartment, I want to deck the whole place out with Philips Hue. Like smart switches, RGB bulbs, everywhere. But making the whole apartment into like, you know, a really good smart home is going to be very expensive. Uh, so I don't know how long it's going to take me to like, you know, complete it all, but probably a long time. But yeah, I will make an apartment tour for sure. How to get the right tags for your videos. Tags on YouTube aren't really that important nowadays. I think they used to be back in the day, but uh, at the moment, YouTube is really, really focused on watch time. So the longer you can keep the audience on your video, the better. So tags, not really that important, I guess. What was your childhood like? Uh, playing a lot of Minecraft for sure. Going to gym for years. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's kind of my whole childhood, I, I suppose. Gaming as well as gym. <laughs> Dan Spearing 36 asks, are you going to buy the two 27 inch monitors? Yes, but it may take some time to save up for them. Unless MSI want to sponsor a video and send them over, but uh, I've emailed them before, haven't got a response yet. So maybe in the future. MSI, if you're watching this, I'm interested in your monitors. Shoot me a DM on Instagram or shoot me an email. Daniels.wav asks, would you ever get a Fred Ripper CPU? Uh, sure. They're pretty expensive, I think. They're, you know, slightly more expensive than the old Ryzen 7 CPUs. But yeah, that'll be cool. I doubt I'd get it anytime soon, maybe like, you know, in like a few months, well, not in a few months, like half a year, a year down the line. Maybe we can do some stuff with like a Threadripper CPU, that would be pretty dope. Next question, are you going to buy a stand desk? I'm guessing you mean like a sit-stand desk? I have one already. It's uh, over here in that setup there. It's a sit-stand desk. It's pretty nice. And I'm uh, pretty sure I'm going to be taking that desk over to the new apartment if I do get that apartment. How long is your sh I bet you won't answer, but how did you get into the world of tech? Uh, mainly following other YouTubers. Oh my, dude. 
this is triggering me now, dude. Um, mainly watching other YouTubers like Linus Tectives, Jace Two Cents, Awesome Source Network, now known as Bitwit Kyle. Uh, just loads and loads of YouTube. That's pretty much how. <laughs> Why are you so thick, my dude? Very good job with YouTube videos. Continue like that, my man. Uh, I'm not that thick. I'm, I'm not that massive in real life. Like, you appear a lot bigger in video and in photos than you do in real life, if you get what I mean. Like, like, like I'm not that jacked in person. <laughs> What's the next thing you're gonna get? For my setup, I guess? Uh... Man, probably the 227 inch monitors just so, you know, we can resolve this ridiculous gap here. Uh, that's kind of one thing I really want to resolve as soon as possible. Uh, then we have Callum Wallace, Intel or AMD? If money's not a problem, and or you're just gaming, Intel for sure, there's no denying it, they make real good CPUs. And uh, if you kind of want to budget, I guess, or you want to save some money and still get really, really good performance, AMD for sure, and uh, I'd kind of go with AMD if you're not just gaming, if you're also doing like some, you know, workstation type tasks, or you're also live streaming. Uh, Ryzen has a lot of cores, has a lot of threads, and clocks decently well, so it's not bad for gaming by any means, it's pretty good for gaming. It's kind of a difficult question to answer as both companies make good CPUs, but uh, AMD with Ryzen 3000 series, if the leaks are correct, they're gonna be bringing some real competition to Intel. So if you're currently in the market for like a CPU, uh, probably wait a little bit until Ryzen 3000 series gets announced and, uh, you know, released finally. Uh, yes, I think AMD are going to really bring some crazy competition to Intel. What's your favorite game right now? Uh, probably Civilization 6. That's something I've been playing a lot of ever since that new expansion came out. I think it's called Gathering Storm. It added like a bunch of natural disasters to the game, like volcanoes, floods, like all sorts of stuff to kind of make the whole game a lot more interesting. So mainly just Civilization 6 at the moment. Uh, can you SLI the 2060? No, no, you cannot. Uh, how much do you love RGB? Quite a lot, quite a lot, dude. What do you think of gaming consoles? Uh, they're, they're cool. I used to play on console, uh, like an Xbox 360, a Nintendo Wii, but at the moment it's mainly just PC. Like, I have nothing against consoles. Like, I'd buy one myself, and I probably will eventually once I buy a TV for the apartment. Like, you know, sitting back on a couch and playing like some freaking Call of Duty or something, or, you know, some Battlefield 5, some Red Dead Redemption 2. Hell, that'd be sick, man. Uh, so yeah, I have nothing against consoles, and I'm pretty sure the next-gen consoles are rumored to have, like, ray tracing support, which is pretty nuts. What is the most expensive thing you have dropped or broken? <laughs> I think just over a year ago, on the way to work, I dropped my iPhone 7. Uh, I had no case, no screen protector, because that's just how I live my life, dangerously. No, <laughs> no protection for the phone at all. But I had dropped that iPhone 7 countless times before, and it had never cracked. But this time, I was walking to work, and it kind of slipped out of my hand as I kind of tried to like flip it over or something. It was a stupid move and uh, the phone just went head first into concrete and the glass on the screen was absolutely shattered. So for the next couple of weeks, as I was using my phone, it would always like cut my fingers a little bit as the whole glass was shattered. Uh, it wasn't a good time. So that's probably the most expensive thing I've dropped and broken. Uh, can we be best friends plus what date are you moving? I don't know if we can be best friends, I don't know you. <laughs> uh, what date am I moving? I'm not entirely sure yet, but pretty soon I hope, if I do get the apartment. <laughs> hey dude, you're the best YouTuber who re actually reacts to DMs. <laughs> what keyboard are you currently using? The Razer Huntsman Elite, and I think that I'm going to be using that keyboard for a very long time until Razer release something even more high-end and more fancy than that one. Uh, why did you decide to go with Ryzen? Uh, I heard nothing but like good things about Ryzen for like months and months and months and I was just really like excited to upgrade to something like current gen as I was rocking I think a CPU that was probably like five generations behind from Intel. It was the i7-4770. So when I picked up this Ryzen 7 2700X CPU it was quite the improvement in performance for like everything. <laughs> Will you do a video about gym routine and diet? Maybe in the future, yeah, maybe. Will we get an apartment tour when it's all set up? Of course you will. Uh, how old are you? When's your birthday? I'm 19 years old. My birthday is on the 15th of June. How much is your mum gonna miss you? Probably a lot, probably a lot. Are you in a relationship? Not at the moment, but I am talking to a girl. She seems pretty nice. Uh, say hi to YouTube for me. What were your first PC specs? I got this question in the previous video. Uh, I have no clue. It was a complete potato. Where do you work? Uh, believe it or not, I just make YouTube videos. Will you buy Razer Raptor 27 inch? Um, I'm not gonna say no, uh, but I'm gonna say it's unlikely. At least for, for the time being, it's very unlikely. Uh, perhaps maybe like at the end of the year, 
I might consider checking it out if there's enough demand for it on the channel. Uh, I'll definitely buy it. Have you thought about getting a Razer PC case or any of their broadcaster microphones? I have thought about getting a Razer PC case. I really, really want one. Uh, it's probably not going to happen at the moment because I'm moving out. Uh, but yes, I really want one for sure. And uh, as for the microphones from Razer, uh, yeah, I've looked into them. To be honest, I'm pretty happy with my microphone at the moment. And uh, I don't think I'll be buying a Razer broadcaster mic anytime soon. Maybe in the future there's enough demand for it but not at the moment. <laughs> is there anything in your setup you would be lost without? Well, uh, you know, a keyboard and mouse. If you take that away, it's gonna be a bit difficult to use the PC. How can I start a tech channel when I can't spend money on new stuff every time they come out? <sighs> yeah, that'll be difficult. Uh, I mean, you could do tutorials for like software. Yeah, if you wanna do a tech channel and you can't afford to spend any money on, you know, buying tech to review, that's definitely gonna make life you know a lot more difficult on youtube especially for a tech channel uh so yeah i don't know dude what's your goal for the setup uh as i've mentioned countless times 27 inch monitors more nano leafs and then when we hit 100k subs the silver youtube play button with rgb that's kind of the main goal with the setup and then as for the pc case the razer lian lee like 0101 or something like that i forget what it's called but it's a beautiful case it has rgb like it just looks so nice are you going to buy razor led strips yes i am when we hit 100k subs and do you have a girlfriend not at the moment but i am speaking to someone will you be doing more vlogs 100 i think the first day i get at that apartment i'm taking this camera with me we're doing a full apartment tour loads more vlogs coming mainly about the apartment and maybe about the car as well how's life going my man uh it's crazy uh, YouTube has changed my life for sure. Uh, just the support here on the channel, it's just, it's, it blows my mind every day for sure. Uh, so life's going good. Things do get very stressful at times. Uh, but apart from that, life's going freaking awesome, man. Do you play PS4 or Xbox as well as the PC? Keep up the sick videos, bro. I only play PC at the moment, but when we get that apartment and when I eventually buy a TV or get a TV sent out to me for free, uh, we are going to buy either a PS4 or an Xbox One or both of them. I don't know, uh, but yeah, I'll definitely probably begin playing on console every now and again, you know, like, you know, casual gaming and stuff on the console in the living room. That'd be cool. Apart from that, though, thank you all so much for watching. If you'd like to be featured in a future Tech Block Q&A, follow me over on Instagram where I'll post the announcement for the Tech Block Q&A on my story. Apart from that, thanks for watching. Hope to see you in another video soon. Goodbye.